You guys see this hat? You guys see this hat right here? I like it. I love it. It's perfect. But it doesn't have the right ability. Today, let's see if we can get one with the correct ability. Well, good morning, good night, or good afternoon, viewers, depending on your time zone. And this is Failboats YouTube. Welcome back, everybody. I am so psyched that this hat is in the game, but I'm more psyched that I actually have the ability to literally get any variation of ability on it that I, I so desire. So, what's the goal? The goal? I need a special charge up hat or swim speed. There's two abilities that I would I would love on this hat. Either swim speed or special charge up. One of those two. I would prefer special charge up. But we'll see. And yes, I will I will have sponsors able to hop in on this game. Dude, splash matic I'm down with. We have the bamboozler in this in this in this wave. Or in this volley. Not, not, not ideal with that. Bamboozer is the one that sucks at painting, right? <laughs> oh no, man! I, I wish it wasn't Splatoon. Wasn't just like, hmm. Let's just assume they play every weapon. How about we give them a bamboozler, a blaster, a brush, and a piece of junk, also called a dynamo roll? Like, I get it. They're trying to give us weapons that cover every playstyle. Do we have a selection? Oh, I, would, I would like a choice. I guess at the end of the day, it does give you the ability to get better at, you know, at certain weapons as a whole. You know what? I'd rather get not <laughs> good at <laughs> I don't really care how I perform with the bamboozle. I'm going to be dead honest with you. If the time ever comes where it's like, well, <laughs> I'm like playing, like, I'm like, like a, a competitive player. And the bamboozler has gotten like to be like a godlike weapon, and they're like, well, if, you, if you don't pay the play the bamboozler, we're going to lose this tournament right now. It's all on you, Daniel, right now. You have, you are the only one on our team who can play bamboozler. I'm like, I can't play bamboozler. And you're like, yeah, not, not, <laughs> none of us can either, but you were the one who locked the ro lost the rock, paper, scissors game. And I'm locked into having to do it. That's the only situation in which I would ever literally have to play that weapon. Just kill it, just kill it, just kill it. I know I'll die out here, but you know what? I'll die an honorable death. <laughs> it's an honorable death if you die out here while, uh, while, while, while taking care of one of those, uh, one of those obnoxious guys. Can I get a flipping, uh, all right. That'll have to do it, that'll have to do it. Thank you, Frosty and everyone else. Frosty and Co. here. Seven run, you're a squid. Yes. Does, are you just in play? Someone in chat just said Salmon Run, but you're a squid, lol. Are you implying that because it's called Salmon Run, I'm not allowed to run because I'm not a salmonid? Why? Why? Okay. I want to talk about something. Where does Splatoon go from here? So you see. So you see. In the, in the next uh, DLC update, for those who are unaware, of course. Uh, not that there's anyone who could be like unaware of this. Splatoon's getting uh, an Octoling update, a big Octoling update that gives a massive amount of lore into the game. Now, what does that mean for the game? That the game is about to get a massive lore dump. We're about to get a lot of questions answered about the way the game is built, and probably a lot of things based on Octoling, as you can probably imagine by the theme of the update. My question: Where does Splatoon go from here? Where do we progress? as a game, as, as a lore, as a community. What's the next mystery that, that we're gonna have to uncover in this world? In my opinion, it's the Salmonids and more importantly, Grizzco. What is Grizzco Industries? Who is Mr. Grizz? And what will it lead us to? Will he become a new boss? Will he be part of a single player thing? Will it be some sort of multiplayer story campaign? Where you play it Salmon Run style? And you have to complete levels with friends? Sort of like Portal 2 style where like you, you, you could uh, get with different groups of people but with the same objective of completing certain levels? Also, this is really unideal. Because in my opinion, that would be a great way to extend upon the story there. Splatoon is lore now. Yo, Splatoon has always had lore. You guys just haven't been looking hard enough. 
Splatoon's lore is interesting. We're like a couple, like, million years in the future. From our current age. Ah, I am dead. And sea life has evolved to the, on to, to the online world. Sea life has evolved to the online world. I guess it's not too crazy for what we have come to evolve as a human species. It's a crazy post-apocalyptic world. We're finding human skeletons. It's common. Common! We don't even live in a world like that. Sure, we can find, the, like, like remains and stuff, I suppose, of, of dinosaurs and, and various other dead animals. But, like, in this world, human bones are commonplace. Is that not, like, really disturbing? Is that not really disturbing? How do they even... Th how do they even think of humans? Do they think of humans as, as, as a good entity? As previous gods of the world? As, as the, the world's previous inhabitants? Or just animals? Like we thought of dinosaurs. Do they just think of us as inferior versions? Something to be disregarded? Or as a part of, of, of society, as a culture? As a part of the world? It's intricate balance. Also, this is horrifying. This is really bad. The bombs. No! I thought we had it for a second there. We got a Joseph raid? Hmm. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. What's up, raiders? Callie wanted to see one of us. I mean, it makes sense. Callie seems interested. So it seems like it's a neutral thing. Like you're not hated to... In to enjoy humans they, they t i think they look at us as like dinosaurs <laughs> we live in a society all right yo uh sponsors hop in with friends you guys can hop in right now dude um so i was walking around my the house the other day just going like bum 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 and I didn't know what it was from. Just that rhythm of like, bum, 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 bum. And my roommate was like, why do you keep on doing that? Because all I would do is like, bum, 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 bum. Just the beginning of like the lobby music. And I didn't know what it was from. I was just pacing around the, the house the entire day. Just like, what on earth was it? Is it from? And I just realized it was from Splatoon. And I'm like, oh my god, it's perfect. I'm just remembering the first like five notes of a fairly monotonous song. How's your day, Daniel? My day's been going good. Thank you, Penguin Boy, for asking. Nah, this has been a, this has been a pretty good day. So, actually, for you guys uh, who are following my my like my livelihood events, uh, I I'm pretty well and moved into the new place right now. I do have some stuff that's still a friend's place, but um, for the most part, I'm actually like finally <clears throat> properly sorted into this new place. I finally have the microphone stand, so I don't have to like have the microphone in front of my keyboard. Like, I'm actually in a very good place for for where I am in terms of moving in and stuff. And actually, yo, I'm going to show you guys. Probably uh, check it out on Twitter. Um, On my right, I I pretty much have a fireplace that's no longer working. Uh, so now it's just there for decoration. But on the mantle above the fireplace, um, I actually have a big... Pro I mean, it is just a mantle. But it's... it's excuse me. There we go. It's what's on the mantle that's so cool. Pretty much, I've put um, a bunch of nostalgic things, nostalgic and sentimental items um, from my time, both on YouTube and from before YouTube on it. And it's created this really nice, like, display of a bunch of important things in my life. And it's really nice looking. I, I was really happy with how it came together. I'm excited to show you guys. What I'll be doing is on Twitter. I'll be making a post just like with like just pretty much going through it probably not breaking it down too heavily it's a two hour <laughs> Twitter VOD um, I won't be breaking it down too heavily but just sort of going piece by piece and just being like you know this came from this part of my life this thing came from this part of my life showcasing a little bit like I got some fan art that was given to me at PAX East I got what else do I have up there uh, a muskrat that my grandmother gave me um, I got my graduation cap. I got some other graduation things up there. A basketball, because I used to play basketball a lot when I was a kid. Um, 
uh, my copy of Splatoon 1 because it was a huge life-changing game for me. Um, let's see. I got like a Pokemon game up there. Uh, two scythes. Um, I just have a lot of stuff up there. It, it, it feels good to be able to look upon that and um, and just see some stuff that 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 has a lot of worth in my life. You know, it's pretty cool. I've never had something like that before. What's going on though? There's something um something I wanted to tell you guys. Oh, what was it? There's something that's been on my mind recently. Uh, well, I got too many games coming. Up. <gasps> E3. I, I remember very thoroughly what it is. E3 is right around the corner. You guys want to know what my E3 plans are in, in, in relation to what I'm doing on YouTube? So here's my E3 plans. I don't know how many... Pre how many um, con oh, I knew I was going to be targeted soon. I don't know how many um, presentations there are. Uh, but, but I am only going to be streaming uh, Nintendo's. I will be watching all of them, probably. I don't really care about EA or Microsoft. But I'll be watching all of them. Uh, but I will only be streaming Nintendos. Now, I'm not going to stream everything from Nintendo. I am going to stream their main core event. However, I am not going to stream the Invitational. The Invitational is hype, but I'm going to be watching it at, at a friend's place. Pretty much. Um... My, my friend, uh, if you guys don't know, I play Smash competitively in, in my state. Uh, my friend, who is also from the, uh, the competitive Smash Brothers scene, um, is hosting a thing at his place, I believe. And then we're, we're going to watch uh, the Invitational there. But, leading up to the Invitational, the entire Nintendo event, the Nintendo Direct, that's all going to get a stream. But not only is it going to get a stream, it's going to get a little bit of a pre-stream. I would say I'm going to start streaming about 30 minutes beforehand and 30 minutes afterwards. I may, I have, this is only a thought that I just realized now. I may try and bring some people in for discussion, such as the normal Splatuber crowd. Maybe get some people like, I, I have no idea, PK Sparks or, or, or Alec, or Alex, um... Like, just some random friends I have. Ant Dude. Uh, some of those guys. See if we can get some discussion coming up. And then maybe we all go our own ways for our reaction video things. Um, I personally want to react uh, to things on my own. But, uh, in terms of discussion, I would love to have some people on. Maybe see if we can get like a whole little, uh, whole little group. To discuss the uh, the upcoming events for E3, because I'm sure everyone wants to stream their reactions. I understand. Don't worry. I get it. It's that time of the year. This is again probably the most hyped I've been for an event in a long time, probably ever. This might be the most hyped, and that worries me. That really worries me, because part of the reason I loved the last direct so much was because I expected literally nothing, and we got not only the Dream Splatoon update but also like Smash. So, you know, I recognize that I'm getting my hopes up. And I'm, you know what? This is the one time I'm putting all my chips on the table. I'm not going to complain afterwards. But you know what? I'm investing my hype. I'm, I'm going for it. I'm boarding the hype train. I know that's the fast path to, to, uh, to, uh, disappointment. But look. <laughs> This is, this is a big time. And I'm ready. I'm ready to assume. I'm ready to assume a lot of things and hope for a lot of things. Oh. It's going to be a good time. Oh, I should also say. Um, while my plans for uh, Nintendo have already been said. I will give you guys a heads up on something. I actually am not going to be doing a Saturday stream this week. It's going to move to, move to Friday. So the normal Saturday stream is going to be on Friday. Um, and that is because I am going to uh, Montreal to uh, watch it, to watch um, the Saturday and Sunday event with a friend. But, um, wait, no, not the right ability. I was hoping, I was hoping not swap for cash. I don't care about that ability. 
Don't forget, I'm looking for, for special charge up or swim speed. I'm gonna keep on grinding until that. What time is the Friday stream? Well, you guys are on, you guys are in summer vacation now, right? My, 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 my wonderful chat people. You guys are on summer vacation, right? If so, I could probably stream at like 2.30 still without worry. Pretty much everyone is saying no. Hmm. Unfortunately, I'm sort of, I'm, I'm a little bit pressed there. On Saturday, I may start streaming at 2.30. EST, by the way. 2.30 EST. I mean, it'll be like a normal three-game stream. Oh, and also, don't forget, for the fail fleet, I literally... Yo, real talk, I, I, I nuked my fail, fleet friend, my fail fleet friend list. I removed pretty much everyone, other than sponsors, of course. <laughs> but, like, pretty much everyone is gone. I left, like... Five friend people. I was like, you know what? I'll keep them around. But pretty much I did a huge purge. I moved people that I've had on for there for a really long time. But, uh, but yeah. So I'll be adding a lot of people before that stream. That'll be all good. And yeah. Why? Because I had a full friends list. Because the Switch only lets you have 300 people on, on, on a thing. You live in Ottawa? Oh, that's cool. Gra uh, grassy. Grassy. I think it was grassy. But yeah. But yeah. Nah, man. I'm super excited for E3. I'm going to be watching two of the things with a friend. Coming back. W probably watching any of the other events by myself. And then watching, um, of course, Nintendo with you guys. Now, I have a question for you guys. Give me an outlandish Nintendo pick. You guys make a call right now. And it's gotta be outlandish. It's gotta be something that hasn't already been talked about. Something that Nintendo could drop. And you could say, I called it. Definitively, I called it. This is all me. What's your pick? F-Zero? I can see an F-Zero. F-Zero would be pretty hype. A return of that. A new sports game? Dude, imagine the return of, of, of Wii Sports. Dude, okay. No, I haven't, I haven't heard anyone talk about this. Yo, Switch Sports. What if? 1-2 Sport. Wii Party but Switch? Okay, yeah, exactly. Like, it doesn't have to be Wii Sports, but just some, something that calls back to the original, like, Wii, Wii games, Wii Wear, or, uh, wh whatever it was. Not Wii Party. What's it called, Wii Party? What's the one that was, like, orange? And it had, like, the tank game or something, and, like, skydiving and, like, pose finding or something? What was that one called? You guys know what I'm talking about. Kill all these stupid guys, please. Guys, we should probably just win. Uh, we should gather the eggs that we currently have. Instead of trying to get new ones right now. There we go. Oh, we play! That's right. It's called We Play. Yeah, like, 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 like a We Play kind of thing. Now, that's my hard call out. You know what I really want from, from, from the upcoming Smash? Oh my god! We're doing really good at this whole finding the goldie thing. You know what I really want from Smash? The Miis to be good. So for people who don't know, Miis aren't that good. Wait, no, 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 guys, guys, it's over on the left. It's over here. It's probably this one over here. Hard callouts? No, no, it was over this way. It's over this way then. Guys, don't forget, depending on how high the water is, is where you're supposed to be finding the, uh, the, the goldies. The closer the water is to being higher up, the, uh, the closer the goldies are. Okay, you know what? Too many enemies. Too many enemies. Please. That was not able to do what I, was, what I wanted to do there. That's alright. 
Daisy and Smash would be a dream come true. Why? Well, like, like, I'm all for Daisy. I'm not actually all for Daisy. I don't. I need validation. What, what has Daisy done? Waluigi. I guess it's sort of in the same boat, but I think Waluigi's been in more games than Daisy has. Dude, imagine if Waluigi and Daisy became like an ice climbers duo. What if Waluigi and Daisy ice climbers? That would be wild, man. Here, I, I forget if I if I've said it before on stream. I think I have. I'm like 90 percent sure I have. Let me tell you guys my 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 Smash predictions. You ready for this? I'm about to make the hard callouts. The entire direct, the entire Switch direct for for Super Smash Brothers uh, Five will have three to four characters released. It'll be a mix. There'll be one veteran return. I'm calling Ice Climbers. Then it'll have a. Uh, it'll also have rather not even that. It'll have a core. Nintendo character confirmed Or two core Nintendo characters confirmed one at the beginning one like as the, as the second or third I Say it's gonna go like this one core Nintendo character one new core Nintendo character One returning character another core Nintendo character and Then finally oh no, this is not good Whee! I'll just fly up here for a little bit. And then finally... Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. One, one, one vet. Sorry, I'm trying to play the, the game. One core Nintendo. One vet. One core Nintendo. And then, uh, to finish it off, one completely out of nowhere third party that no one expected. But they made happen. That's my call out. I also want Bandana Dean Waluigi very badly. But yeah, also, I was talking about this with my roommate, um, with Sam. Um, pretty much, I I am going to make a call out that clones are done in this game. There are no clones. Instead, they're all skins. However, this is how it works. This is how it works. In place of the normal clone system, every single character will have two ways to play the game. Hear me out. Hear me out. Every single character will have an alternate way of playing that character. A new moveset per character. Mario. We have... You can play as traditional Mario. Or... When you select the character on the main screen, you have the ability to play a second Mario skin. One... That would either be like Doc Mario or Cappy based Mario. Something like that. Like like all instead of instead of clones, everything is handled as an alternate moveset. So for Kirby, you can select on Kirby and select from one set of hats or another set of hats. Not everything would change between the character. But some things would change. Or maybe it just changes specials. And all and all the um all the attacks are relatively the same. Maybe there's some alternations here and there. <coughs> Every single character would have a clone, but it wouldn't take up a slot. They would just exist within their character's own select window. That's how I would view it. That's what I'm calling. Now, this would also be a way for them to handle custom moves. Ooh, it's Splat Zones right now? Oh, yo, I need to do some Splat Zones after this. What I'll do, I'll get this next hat, because we're kind of close to the 800-point hat. Let's get the 800-point hat, and then play some X-Ray. Daisy, I don't care about it in Smash. I don't care about her, frankly. She hasn't done anything stand out in my in my eyes. She's been in a lot of games. What's her character depth? I don't know anything about her. Introduce me to her. 
If she gets a spin-off game and some more attention, I'd be in. But look, Waluigi, he's never gotten his core game, but at the same time, he's been a staple in the heart of Nintendo for a while, of many of its fans. Which is the only reason why I'm like, you know what? I could easily see Waluigi getting in. He's also been, like, pretty loyally. I, here's what I think. Waluigi's moveset, when he gets into Smash, not if he gets into Smash, when he gets into Smash, he will become the, the Mario Kart, Mario Tennis, Mario Soccer rep. Like, because right now in, in the games, we don't have anyone who really reps Mario Kart. We got someone, we got Wario, who has the cart, who has the, the bike, but that's not really Mario Kart. We don't have any Mario Kart reps. Soccer, tennis, baseball. We have no reps of any of those games, and they are pretty big. Waluigi has only existed in those games. I think his moveset is going to be pretty reppy of, 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 the, um, of the sports series. Also, someone said online that Minecraft might have some fr some presence. Fairly nine hundred, you know, I'm like nine hundred percent sure that that's a rumor. But yo, hard call out Minecraft is gonna have a stage. It won't. But if it does, now I'll look cool. That would be hype. I'm trying to think. What well, what's another good? See, like here's the issue with Smash Brothers. This is what it does to me. This is what it does to me. I just want to live my life. I just want to live my life doing normal things, having a nice day, enjoying my June. And Smash has ruined me. It's like, mmm. But what if, whoa, if the Fortnite characters were in Smash Brothers, what would their side B be? Would it be a boogie bomb that makes the other person taunt? Would their up B be the Insta Fort? So that way they could just create a pillar like Crag and Rivals? It's like, it just makes me immediately start thinking of all these fun options. Also, in my opinion, Octolings are going to be a reskin. A la, like, Alf. In Olimar. But that, why? Why are we doing the splashdowns? Who did those splashdowns? We're on, we're on, we're not on the last wave yet. <laughs> Yo, if we lose that wave, I'm gonna be mad at whoever initiated those splash, those splash shots. Not actually, but you know what I mean. Look, all I need in this game, look, they've already confirmed Inklings. Pretty much, my wish list for Smash is already Inklings and Waddle That's, that's, been, that was my wish list for a very, very long time. I already got what I wanted in half. And there's been a lot of support for Bandana D. That's all I'm saying. We have potential. I believe that little baby Waddle Dee boy can do it. The bandana D himself. Now hear me out. Hear me out. This is a wild pick. But just imagine. Ready? Ready? If this pick happens, by the way, Banjo Kazooie is dead. <laughs> the dream of Banjo Kazooie dies. Hear me out. Goomba and Koopa. A Goomba and a Koopa. And, and, and one of the winged Koopas. Also, we are dead. How does it work? A Koopa that carries a Goomba in his arms. Just holds a Koopa below him. When they need to walk, they go to Koopa mode. Or they go to Goomba mode. And of course, when they need to fly... Or, or jump or anything. They go. They go. They go to. Um. Hold on one second. Let me just. Ugh, this is really bad. I wanted to try and kill him by actually shooting him. We can do it. We can so do this. Please, please, no! Hey, who used those two splashdowns? Hands up, so we can ban you from chat. Not actually, of course. I just, want, I just want people who had those. Uh, why not Gordon Freeman?
I mean, look, man, I want Mies to be good. I want Mies to be good so badly. Boom! Oh. Chad, give me something to talk about. We need marks, too? No, we don't need marks. No, we don't need marks. Marks is not iconic enough. I mean, yes, he is. Marks is pretty iconic. Don't get me wrong. Especially now that they brought him back for another game. But look. It's not enough. Who's more iconic? Marks or, or Bandana D? It's got to be Bandana D. He's been a playable character for like seven years. More than that. How long have you been able to play as Bandana D for? Shell from Portal? Yo. If we got Shell from Portal... That would be, like, the most confusing addition to the game. Also, can we just talk about this? Look. There's no way we will get Shantae or Shovel Knight on their own. We could get them. But look. If the community gives us Shantae, or if Nintendo gives us Shantae, but not Shovel Knight, the community is going to tear itself in half. Likewise, all the way around. If we got Shovel Knight but no Shantae, the community would just be like, Ew, How dare you add one rep but not the other? I don't even play Shovel Knight. Like, there's no way. Like, as soon as we add, they add one, they are contractually obligated to add another. Which is why I think it's going to be hard to add them. That being said, would it, would it be cool? Yeah, sure. At the same time, I want to I want to I want to be real. Yes, they would fit in great. But is it I don't know. I don't know. Yes, I of course they would fit in great. You could easily make a move set for both characters. But maybe it's just me. I don't know. I, I, I guess they just need more, 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 I don't know. I can't see Nintendo putting in an indie, get an indie character into Smash. I guess I could to, to a degree, because they definitely have put in smaller games in the past. Like, they put in Fire Emblem characters. Um, and back when they added Marth and Roy to Melee, it was a very, very, very small game, from what I understand, or it definitely did not have the following it has now. Yo, 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 what you snacking on? So I guess I could see it happening. But, like, I don't know, man. Look. All I'm saying is imagine the stream I'm going to do a week from now. Like, th like this is the... I've been having this kind of discussion for so long. This, like... Dude, what's that first trailer gonna look like? It's just, like... Man... <laughs> in a week from now, when we know everything, or, or not everything, obviously, but you know, when we know everything about this, well, you know, the upcoming direct, it's gonna, it's, it's, what, what, what's this conversation gonna be like? What are we gonna be talking about? Here, yo, yo, okay, so I laid this out for my roommate. You guys ready for how the Nintendo trailer will go? I'm making some hard call outs right now. This is what's gonna happen. Trailer starts, they're not gonna disguise it any, as anything. They're either going to say up front that we're now entering the Smash section, or the first thing we see is going to be like a Smash logo. They can't disguise the game anymore. Nintendo's already had its chance to disguise Smash Brothers, and they did it with the Inkling reveal. You know what I mean when I say that. Like, when Smash 4's trailer started, we saw a, um, we saw the villager opening some mail. We can't do that again. If they can't fool us. They can't be like, oh, well, now it's Banjo-Kazooie in a... I mean, maybe. They, maybe they could do it like the, if they opened up with their crazy third party. But I'm thinking, like, if they if they started with the ARMS character, we already know. The instant we see the ARMS character, that, that it's going to be Smash. The instant. Unless they did, like, some sort of smooth transition. Either way, we're... we're, we're this, is how, this is the trail order, right? We're opening it up with a new character. Within, like, the first 30 seconds of the trailer start, we'll get a new character. We'll know it's Smash and that it's a new character. 
Next up, we see what the game looks like. Gameplay. It's beautiful. It's smooth. It's nice. It, it, it's the new age graphics. You know? It's not a port. It's a cool... It, it, they probably are going to start on Battlefield or something. Because Battlefield is their, is their, you know, their, their favorite stage to show. It's going to start on Battlefield. It's going to show gameplay of the new character as well as some old veterans. It's going to showcase Breath of the Wild Link as well as uh, a new Mario. Um, kill that guy. Cool. Then, next character they reveal is going to be a veteran. It's going to be Ice Climbers or Wolf. They're bringing back someone. It's got to be one of those guys. A veteran returns. A first party veteran. Not, not like Snake. Next up. A new mechanic is, is showcased. Straight up in the trailer. Something happens. I'm going to say that for this upcoming game. It's going to become a new. There's a new movement mechanic is going to be added to the game. You know how in, in Smash 4 how we had Rage? They sort of presented Rage on the side. They they re they re they they, re they revealed rage in a screenshot, I believe. I think what's gonna happen is this game's gimmick is going to be presented up front for us, and it's gonna be a new movement mechanic. Whatever it is, whether it be a movement mechanic, a new special kind of move, a new way to do charge attacks, something, some whatever the game's gimmick is. Um, it's going to be that. It's going to be said right there at the halfway point there. Um, or, or potentially a story mode announcement. If it isn't a new movement mechanic, it's a story mode announcement. That being said, it goes, it, whatever that, whatever that, that reveal is, it happens then. Next up, the next thing. Another new Nintendo character. Don't know what it is. Don't have no idea. Could be ARMS character. Could be whatever. New Nintendo character. Then we enter into a little bit of a montage of different stages, modes, other types of things. A various montage of what to look forward to in the game. Followed by some final smashes. I think personally, the entire trailer will be a little bit more of like a linear based trailer. Something where the character reveals sort of sync up to each other. A la like like the brawl the 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 brawl reveal. Remember you guys remember the brawl trailer? We're pretty much like we're following uh the, the characters as they go through different stages and in, in like occurring into different or running into different characters like diegetically in the environment. I think that's what this trailer is gonna be like. We're going to see more of, like, a, a linear path as we find more characters. Now, my 1 in 100 callout is that that linear path is also going to be the story mode. Like, we're, we're following these characters through a linear path and we're finding all these other characters. And then it's revealed that it's actually a tie-in with the story mode. But, that that's my 1 in 100 callout. I, I doubt that'll happen, but if it happens, I can say I told you so. We'll get a new Nintendo character. We'll get a bunch of montage, like, moments of, like... This is what's happening with the game. You know, check out all these cool little modes and just general things like that. We aren't going to see too much, but it'll be a lot for people to look back on later and dig up. And, like, secret info and stuff. Then, then, we get another big thing. We get another big character. We get one last giant character. And it's third party. It comes out of nowhere. Mega Man reveal style. It may not do the, we got one more thing left to do, but we get one more character, and it's and it, it flips people's worlds. And then, and then the trailer ends, and then it goes on from there. And then we go to the Splatoon thing. Maybe we have a quick rundown, or, or like, you know, a rundown the length of the trailer. Just sort of being, like, in Splatoon, like, where it's just like, oh, and then, you know, this is the new Smash Brothers game. We get a lot of info on it, I'm sure. We're gonna get like 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 one of those big like intermission chunks where we get a lot of info. Or maybe we'll be at the end and you know we'll we'll get info other ways. But um Oh, it's over this way. 
But yeah, I think you guys know what. Oh, no, 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 guys, it's down here. It's down here. It's this one. You guys won't even know what I'm. Yeah, I, I knew it was this one. Let's go. Hype. Hype Udes. You know what? I'm just gonna focus on killing the random people. I hate Bamboozler so much. Oh, I hate this weapon. I can't even get the golden egg. You know what? You know what? You know what? I give. I give. I give. I give. I give. Whatever. Whatever. Bombs everywhere. Go. Die. Also, hard call out right now. Nintendo Labo is going to be an item or an assist trophy. Like, like multiple pieces of the Nintendo Labo will be items. That's how I think the Nintendo Labo will be introduced into this game. Maybe as a stage, where, where like the stage gets built around you and it turns into a different Labo thing. But I highly doubt we'll see Labo Man. Labo Man feels just like a nice little fan dream. I cannot see it becoming like an actual thing. I think the random cardboard cutout dude was too like, you know, random LOL, you know, just a random car cardboard cutout dude. Don't look at this character as anything more than just a random cardboard cutout dude. Could be wrong, who knows. Poke float style would be hype. I think a transforming stage would fit it a little bit more. Now something that my friend brought up, uh, Sam, my roommate, he brought up this thing that every, every game Every version of Smash has something that makes it work with the system. For instance, Melee, better, you know, just general better graphics being upgraded from the N64. As well as some new special moves and stuff, you know. Um, you know, upgraded character roster, upgraded graphics. That's what we got from Melee. From Brawl, we got a story mode and online. Mainly the online is because, you know, the Switch had, it was the first thing to have the online. We got online Smash. Cool. From Smash 4, we got a double release. The gimmick was that you can play it on the go and in, and in your house. My question, what is going to be the Switch's thing? What is going to be new about the game? That's like, man, this is only possible on the Switch. What would it be? Something with the Joy-Cons. Something where you can actually do posable smash attacks or something. You can be the character. Maybe, maybe, some sort of customization element. Dress up your dress up your Smash character. A la Splatoon style. Be able to have a personalized character that you can bring with you on the go. With your Switch. And hide in your amiibos. What I want? Dude, give me, uh, what was it? Pokemon of me? Give me Smash of me. Give me Nintendogs, give me Tendogs Smash Bros. I want to be able to pet Ganon. If I can't pet Ganondorf in this game, it's trash. Ah! We need one more win for the new hat. Splat zones, Dan. No! I need the new hat. Run it back. I need the hat that has special charge or swim speed. I got a message on Discord. Are you thinking about doing an aquatic update video? For Minecraft. If you guys don't know, Minecraft is getting a whole new... Like, aquatic update. Real talk. Real talk. You guys want to see Minecraft on the channel? It's been a long time. Long time. Since I did Minecraft on, on the Failboat channel. You guys want to see me doing some Minecraft streams? Maybe checking out the new update. Maybe getting some friends in. Checking it out with them.
I see a lot of yeses. It would be interesting to try out. Actually, one of my uh, moderators, I won't single them out, um, requested the return of a... Uh, the return of Windcraft. Yo, hands up in chat. If you came from, if, if you were around for when Windcraft was around. Keep it loyal. Keep it true. Keep it true. Hands up in chat if you guys remember my Windcraft series. If it's a no, it's a no. If it's a yes, it's a yes. I guarantee 90% of you guys are probably going to be saying no. It, it was from, I think, three or so years ago. It's been a while. Dude, I actually wouldn't mind doing a return to Windcraft stream. For those who don't know, um, the uninformed, Windcraft is a Minecraft server minigame thing. Uh, sorry about that, friend. Um, where it's, it's an RPG. The goal of Windcraft is to create a functional, cool, and interesting RPG inside of Minecraft. Phil, what are some of the sponsor rewards that you mentioned earlier? Glad you asked! If you guys decide to drop a sponsor during a stream, you guys get the ability to be added to my Switch friend list on the main account and become a, 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 a VIP member on the fail fleet account, meaning you will not get randomly erased as I need to clear up space. In addition to that, by sponsoring, you get access to the weekly sponsor streams. The next one will be coming up tomorrow. In addition to that, or you know, we'll at least you'll be able to chat in it. In addition to that, you will have a variety of cool, interesting, and uh, strange emoticons in chat that you can pick and choose from to enhance your your chatting messages. Hey chat, can we? Hey, hey sponsors in chat, can we get? Can we see some of those cool emotes? In addition to that, for just a low price of five dollars a month, you also get a special rank in the discord server and a special uh, or access to a special room where I talk to the uh, people in there and ask them about general video feedback things or like things or like you know ask people like what I should stream today pretty much whenever I need like feedback from the community I go to the lifeboat chat in addition to that access to videos early sometimes when I have them ready and done early and ahead of time, I'll paste them. I'll, I'll paste the link to them in the fail fleet chat. Definitely doesn't happen every time, but it does happen now and again. In addition to that, I read out your name on stream and stuff, and you have my 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 everlasting support for helping me out. In addition to that. You get a cool little Jigglypuff by your name, which I actually will change eventually to become a, a new icon. As well as a green name. In addition to that, no. I think that's pretty much it. But uh, yeah, for five bucks a month, you too can have all those features and more. It helps support what I do and, uh, and makes doing what I do cooler. Because then I get to see a bunch of people in chat have that name what's going on right now oh grill around it's been a while since I've done a grill around I really dislike these rounds but I don't mind this one say it with me just shut up what? look someone asked I'm gonna follow through oh it's one of these rounds oh I hate these even more I mean actually look I don't mind this oh no that's on me that's on me thank you thank you guys for, for picking up the slack for me I didn't realize we were in this round, otherwise I would have shot it down. Oh, I didn't have an egg. Whoopsie. There we go. But yeah, sponsoring is a very good way to support the stream. I appreciate the help from all the sponsors that, 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 that or all the guys that help out in chat. Or just seeing you guys, real talk, just seeing people in chat is hype. <laughs> just being able to look over. And see that 400 of you are, 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 are just sticking around, hanging around in chat right now. 
That's fascinating to me, man. I appreciate the support you guys have been giving me. One day, I'll be good with the bamboo sword. I know it's something you guys all want here. One day, I'll be good with the bamboo sword. Dude, I'm actually... I'm excited to try out some rank X after this. Because in like five seconds, we're going to be winning. And then, we'll have a... Uh, I, I preemptively partied. <laughs> All right, man. Why do people think spamming me is a good way to get my attention? I mean, I guess it got my attention, but uh, now uh, they can't contact me. YouTube has to demonetize the stream now because you just you guys just heard a death on stream. Dan, how did you meet Aunt, Aunt Dude? Uh, Pax East. Ran into him. <laughs> I love how the two people who were with me. Or uh, almost everyone was with Dude, this looks so cool. I love this. The two people, like, welcoming me in. Like, like the armed forces or something right now with all these hats on. I love that synchronization. <laughs> no! Not what I'm looking for. Good thing I got four cold-blooded chunks, though. That'll really work out for me in the long run. I, well, uh, I was hoping I was going to be able to get a swim speed or a special charge up thing from there. But I guess not. And I can't, like, order these, right? Nah, too bad. That's okay. Well, for now, I'll just hop in here. But we'll keep on going. Let's do some X rank. I've never done it before. I've never seen it. Let's see what we got. Actually, hold on one second. <clears throat> Let's go, man. That's so cool. I love being able to do that. Hit that X rank real fast. Forever, man. <sighs> Let's try it. What's the lowest level we got in here? Level one. Wow, we got a level one person. This person's level 34. Hold on. That, that person's level 34. They are in X rank. How do you have someone who's level 34 in X rank? I mean, they're here with me. Let's hope it, let's hope it all, all, all ends up working out. The most elite and professional players are here, gathered together. Can we win our first game? That's my question. Ooh, ooh, excuse me, Alfred. <laughs> I love that Alfred. He was just like, I'm just passing through. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. I'm, I'm, I'm just having. I'm just living my life. Please, dude. Easy cap. Understood. I need to get the people who are further back, though. Cover up all this stuff. I need to be doing more map peeking. I haven't been doing, like, proper map peeking in a while. Woo -hoo! Hello there, soul. Map, pe map peeking is godlike. And I... Hi oh! Like, right now, if those people in front of me were map peeking, they would notice that guy right there. Oh, it looks like they did notice him. Also, goodbye to you. Goodbye to both of you. Goodbye to both of you. Goodbye to both of you. One of you to start. Two of you in a second here. I see someone there. I saw someone there. I made him retreat. And I killed him with a rain. Let's go. Let's go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That, that's actually a call to me. That's me saying that to myself. Just reminding myself to get out of here. Whoa, hello. Hello. <laughs> What's up, soul? 
I'm a soul out here trying to end my heart. <laughs> super jumping, super jumping is all fun and good until uh, people start predicting it. This is too much. Where are they? We got some guy there. Effective bomb placement. Run over here. Get that. Throw that long. Hear me out. What I want to do, I want to take over their spawn a little bit. I want to I want to cap them a little bit backwards. Like you tried to take over us? We're going to try and take over you a little bit. Wait, no. We have lost control. <laughs> Dude, last time I did this, Soul came over over there. I don't want to get flanked by Soul again. Wait. I can hear the baller. Go, my cloud! <laughs> Preemptive cloud throw! When you're about to lose the set, and you have to pick cloud real fast. I can toss in one of those. Was there a guy over there? There was a guy over there. These flankers. Alright, well, easy cap, at least. At least we have no problem capping the zone. Our problem is in keeping it! Seems to be fairly tough, apparently. Especially when everyone is dead. That's okay. We can make it work. <sighs> nope. I saw someone directly over there. Yep, that ink armor re revealed them to me. What are you trying to do, Sol? What are you trying to do? Kill me like you've done many times in the past. I refuse. I refuse. Get out of here. Get out of here with that baller, man. I'm not gonna let you have an easy an easy thing here. I'm not gonna let you have an easy thing here. My first x rank game. No, I'm not even reading chat right now. I gotta focus. Although I did see a new sponsor. That is hype. I will give the sponsor chant after this. But some tells me, uh... Ooh, I won't be able to hold on. Give me look, look. It's a lot going on right now. Dude, look at that little marker. It's exactly where they are. Throw this up in advance. Not good, not good. I got one kill. That's not enough though. Wait, maybe it is. Stay alive. Stay alive. No. Don't be overly aggressive. Don't be stupid. I mean, you got to be overly aggressive. But you got to make sure you aren't you don't just run in and die. Good. It ain't over. It's probably very close to being over. But currently, it is not over! Oh what did I say? See? Far from over! Sponsors. I saw two new ones. New sponsors, plural, coming through, watching the stream and supporting it too. Spam twice the amount of fail stare in our chat because it's our cue. And welcome, mashed potatoes ten. And I got thirteen kills. Oh my god. Jalen Brooks to the fail fleet crew. Both of you guys hit me up on Discord. I can give you some ranks and stuff. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh, hype. Dude, we're actually, I'm not gonna lie, we're getting close to 100 sponsors. Look. Is it time for another 12 hour stream? How many sponsors are we at right now? Right this second. Where are we?
We are currently at... Hold on. Hold on. 78. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. We are currently at 78 sponsors. Yo. I'm just saying. 22 more sponsors. 12-hour stream. I know that's still a while to go. But look, 12-hour streams have to be important. And they have to be big. I can't just throw those out randomly. That was a great combo. Plus, look. We have 436 people watching right now. We can literally hit 22. We can get 22 more sponsors right now. If you guys don't know how to sponsor, just probably the best way to, as I said before, is just drop a Google search. Figure out how to do it on your platform. Because it's different on every single one. It's very complicated, unfortunately. But yeah. Either way, that, 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 that's incredible. Yo, 100 sponsor hype would be unreal. Also, yeah, if you're on the, if you're on the PC, um, just follow the link that, that Nightbot puts from uh, exclamation point sponsor. It'll give you a it'll give you a link that you're looking for. Dude, get body. Let's go Copen. Dude, can we get that nice clean sweep? I guess not a clean sweep. It's a little bit of a dirty sweep. They got the 88 points instead of uh being unable to score any. Well, this ain't too bad right now. Let's just do this real fast. Dude, I'm I'm gonna stay on this point. You kidding me? No, nope, that's it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, okay, they, they've taken the zone. Ah, oh, feels bad, man. That's okay. Hey, man, worse than me. How do we hit him up on Discord? Uh, if you go to my Discord in the bottom right, or in, like, the, um, the first link in the description. <laughs> it's sweeping time. Um, yeah, first link in the description. Uh, it, it starts with Discord.gg. I know, despite what you probably would believe... That brings you to my Discord page. From there. I know it's a little bit complicated. You have to click on it. That will bring you to the Discord. Up in the top right, you see a person named Failboat. Right click that. Thing. Message. Hit him up. Tell me your favorite food. Tell me your favorite food and then also that you sponsored. And also, sponsors, uh, just quickly screenshot yourself. Like, you see the window where you have to either type or click to type things? What? What? Excuse me? Is that the game we want to play? Hello? Huh. Well, thank you all for watching the stream, I guess. Nothing like a nice example of how X rank works. One close game followed by disqualification. That'll be all for today's stream. Um. Uh... Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Tune in next time for whatever I feel like doing. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go uh, get some food probably. But uh, I'm gonna try one more time. One more time. But we're gonna do a raid. We're gonna do a raid. If I can't connect, we're just gonna do a raid. Omega lol, we can't connect. Let's do a raid. All right, who's streaming right now? I always raid Splatoon people. So let's raid a Splatoon person. Splatoon. <laughs> um, who? No, I, I, I do always do Splatoon raids. Who else can I raid right now? What other games would you guys like to... Guys... You you guys pick. What 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 game should I what game should I raid?
do 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 What game? Roblox? Minecraft? Baldy Basic. Who is playing Baldy Basic? Read any of these people. I'm gonna be dead honest with you guys. It's been a while since we did a Twitch raid. Let's see who. Let's, let's see you. Whoa! All right. Splat versus is uh is edgy today. Report those posts, people. They, they, those have no reason to be here. Those have no reason to be here. I'm surprised that- where's the filter on this game? I swear, man, I'm surprised I was able to go through. It's really not okay, frankly. Yo, we got one person chilling out on a hat in time. We got one person on a hat in time right now. One single brave soul. No idea what he's up to. Let's hit him up. Let's hit him up. We got one single person playing a hat in time. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. You guys are unaware. Here's how raids go. I give you a link. You guys spam a bunch of hearts in chat. You guys be respectful. Don't forget. Their 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 stream is their rules and their law. You know? Hop on over to them. Give them some love. Give them some love. Let's give them... You know what? Post... Give them some hearts and some top hats emojis in chat. We got one single person playing a hat in time right now. Let's give them some love. Anyway, the guy's name is DT Overlord. Thank you all for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with the uh, with the sponsor stream. Now, let's go raid. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you around. Be respectful. Have a good time, everybody. Enjoy your stream. See you around. Woo!